Tip number one is understand your data. So by that, I mean, really take time to figure out who your active volunteers are. So a lot of organisations of all scales, all sizes, all types, um, quite often have a huge list of volunteers. This can include people who have volunteered for them in the past, um, who might volunteer for you in the future, and of course, who does volunteer for you at the moment. Um, but I find that that creates a real lack of focus and you're not quite sure who it is you're engaging with, you're not quite sure who it is might be coming in. Um, so really focusing in on who your active volunteers are. And that's from a duty of care point of view, so you know that they are safe and supported in their role and to make sure that you can engage with them really effectively as well. So as well as understanding who your active volunteers are, I think it's just as important to just figure out who might not be volunteering anymore. Um, so figure out, particularly at the moment, who might be looking to return and whose situation, circumstances, preferences, feelings around everything might have changed. Um, so figuring out who's moved on is quite important at the minute as well. Um, and there's still ways that you should be able to engage them as supporters. Um, they might want to volunteer with you in the future and just make sure that they feel really thanked and valued for their time as volunteers. So yeah, tip number one most definitely is understand your data, understand who your active volunteers are.